So if you read a lot of Excel books, you'll probably see sooner or later someone advising you to never ever merge a cell uh, when it's in involved with formulas. So <laughs> there's actually may possibly an exception here. Uh, if you were in a real hurry, here's the situation. You've got pairs, you've got these four columns of numbers. And what you want to do is add them up like this horizontally for every, each three pairs and figure out the maximum, the uh, the group that has the maximum. Now here in my uh, longer solution, you see the totals. So it's simply adding up the the four values, adding those four up, and then there's a formula over here that's getting the maximum of these three. Now, this takes a lot longer, especially later on when I show you this formula, but to do this in a real hurry, what you could actually do, and it still seems strange to me, but I, I actually could not think of a faster way to do this. Uh, so, go into the cell, you write your little formula to say, give me the maximum of the sum of these three. So you add them up inside of here, get the maximum, here's the uh, the formula. Now you can't drag this all the way down because you only care about every third group. So see how the red lines, I put some conditional formatting. It's within those uh, boundaries. So here's what someone showed me and I was speechless. I could not think of a faster way. So you, you got the formula, select these three cells, uh, you merge it. So let's go like this, format cells, and we're just going to merge that. So when I press OK, watch what's going to happen. That merges it. And simply, we just drag this down. So this is a very good, I would say, short-term solution. Not the best for long-term and not very flexible. So we drag it all the way down. And as you see, it actually works. We have the value that we want in the top cell. It matches my approach to the right. So of course, um, this is not very flexible. What if you wanted to do four of them, not just three of them? Or what if you had to redo this? Well, you'd have to go in here and unmerge it and then you know put the fourth uh, sum in there, merge it again, drag it down. So here's what I came up with. It's a little more flexible. Uh, I'll just, here we go. So select the group size. So here I have just a drop down list. Um, and in here, let's say we want, now we want to pick five. So here we say uh, it's extended now, the conditional format, and we see groups of five. This still works. And now I have a formula here that is, oh, of course, sorry, step two, the mod uh, function. Let's, let me just unhide this. Here's what I did just to sort of help with the conditional formatting. Uh, so whenever we get to a one, that's the first value in the group, and that's what helps with the red line. Okay, now, the solution here is what I did. I want one formula I can drag down, and it doesn't matter whether I pick a five, uh, a four, a three, it will work no matter what. So we see how the range has changed. Let's go down to two. Every time it works, it's calculating. So let's put it back to something like four. And I'll go in the formula. I'll go into this one and explain what it does here at the top. So simply, if G17, which is just that helper column, if it's not equal to one, then a blank or, or basically stop. So this is our test, and we just stop right there. But if it's true, we want to do the math. So we're using the offset function to say, start at I17. Uh, which is the hidden column. Let me just unhide that, make this a little bit wider. Start, oh, there it is. Start at, um, start here, and that's our reference or starting point. We're not moving any rows or columns away. And then we're using the L2 value, which is up in here, what we our data validation selection as the number, the height. So the height of this, we want to get four of them this time. Or it could be three if we change that, or five, or whatever, two, or one. Uh, so inside of here, we have all three, all four of those values. I'll show you. If you highlight this, and on the keyboard, you press the F9 key, probably the best shortcut that I know. So you see all four of those values. I press the undo button, or control Z, to uh, to get back to this offset. So all those values basically go out to the max function and then we get the maximum value which is of course is our 815. So then you just drag this all the way down. It's not a merge cell and uh, once one more time watch what happens when I'm going to change the three, the four to a three, it adjusts automatically.